Ahmed Hassanain. Ahmed Hassanain Pasha, KCBO, MBE, Arabic, October 31, 1889, February 19, 1946, or Ahmad Muhammad Makhlouf Hassan and Albulaki, Arabic, was an Oxford educated Egyptian courtier, diplomat, Olympic athlete in fencing, photographer, writer, politician, legendary geographic explorer, tutor then Chamberlain to King Farouk. Ahmed Hassanain was one of the most influential figures in Egyptian politics as the chief of the Divan and Chamberlain to Farouk, the King of Egypt from 1936 to 1952. Son of an Al-Azhar University professor, he was a grandson of the last admiral of the Egyptian fleet before it was dismantled under British occupation in 1882. Tutor King Fuad I, father of Farouk, chose Ahmed to tutor the crown prince during the prince's studies as a teenager in London. While Fuad spoke Turkish as his mother tongue and was not therefore able to eloquently address his own nation, Farouk, under the supervision of Ahmed Pasha Hassanain, learned to speak Arabic well and developed a strong sense of nationalism. Expeditions During an expedition through the Libyan desert in 1923, Ahmed Hassanain, then only Effendi in title, crossed a region defended by the fierce and puritanical Senussis. Hassanain's first journey was to the Kufra, the Senussi's oasis capital. The journey nearly came to grief due to companion Rosita Forbes making an error reading the compass. Forbes claims in her book The Secret of the Sahara, Kufra, 1921, that she had been the inspiration and leader of the expedition, though this claim has been challenged. In December 1922, Hassanain began a new scientific expedition from Salem. He recorded bearings and measures of distances, took photos, samples, wrote his journal, and interacted with his men to learn more about their traditions and places and natural phenomena. His success was ensured when he saw Kufra his destination in the horizon to correct its position for the first time on maps, but, even to his own surprise, there was more to be discovered. The climax of his expedition was the discovery of unknown water sources that opened new Sahara routes from Kufra to Sudanic Africa. The water sources or the lost oases are Jebel Awinat and Jebel Arkanu, the former was not even known to the Sinusis he visited in Kufra, the latter was known since 1892 through Arab sources. He is still remembered today for the significant rock art he photographed on this journey. In September 1924, his famous report was published in the National Geographic magazine with 47 photos and a map. His book The Lost Oases has followed a year later in English and subsequently in Arabic and German. Ahmed's work includes, an unusually accurate map of a then unknown region, based on astrofixing and triangulation techniques, writings on the history and traditions of the isolated and fiercely independent Sinusis sect in Libya, a widely published memoir, a geological collection, thousands of photos, hours of footage. He was honored with the title of Bay and the prestigious Founders Gold Medal of the British Royal Geographical Society, in 1924. Hassanain Mausoleum Hassanain was laid to rest in the Mameluk Northern Cemetery across the Sola Salem Road from the new seat of the Al-Azhar Imam in a mausoleum built by his brother-in-law, the renowned architect Hassan Fathi. At Olympics he competed at the 1920 and 1924 Summer Olympics in the foil and AP competitions. Sources